Let's go. Let's go. All right. And three, two, one. Hi, everyone. Welcome to. We the was not we... ready. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was <Hi>. hoping. <laughs> okay, okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Hi everyone, welcome to The Grind. As you can see, we are doing things a little bit differently. Yes, uh, we, we are. We are doing it on Zoom. Yep, yep. Uh, yep. Yep, I guess just with the cases that's going on in Hong Kong, we are in the four digits. Um, so it's a little <laughs> bit rough. Um, so we figured like to, you know, just to really practice social distancing and figure it best to do this on Zoom. It's and so today we're wrapping to up. Do. Yep, safe thing to do. And so today we are wrapping up our series, Money Talks. And Pastor Peter was talking about the rich fool. And so mm. before uh, again we get into like talking about the message and everything, what's the one thing like you guys like just can't get enough of? I feel like my background is betraying me. Yeah, we <laughs> see a see a whole Ooh, bunch I of. I wonder what Nathan. That was a, in my defense. That was a phase. Ah, also, the phase, phase was about continuing? five years. The phase was about five years long. Um, and still going. But also, um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what what is this can't get enough of stuff? I don't I don't know I don't know what you mean. But honestly, bro, you have a really impressive collection there. Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah to some people. And it's like also you. in plastic as well. Yeah. Could it be um, also in that white box behind him? You mean that stack of three white boxes? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I feel like we're talking about me a lot. Let's move on. I don't know. It's just on display. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so drinks from his Batman cup. Speaking oh yeah, and cups. happy Batman Day to everyone who can celebrate by going to the cinema. Not us, but if you can, lucky you. <laughs> wonderful wonderful but yes uh since we're sure about cups i got my you know one thing that i can't get enough of sometimes are cups actual cups actual cups like this is my starbucks cup yeah <laughs> so yeah i see cups i'm just like oh they're so pretty i want to buy it you know but i'm like i don't need a cup a cup is a cup where i can drink from any like you know drinking vessel and i see bottles i'm like oh i could get that you know but i'm like oh i don't have a glass cup for my ice lattes you know we should get one or i don't have one for my special shots maybe i should get one so um so yeah, you have say, you have a cup for every specific drink yes safe safe to say it's <laughs> <She's> like <laughs> should i or should i not say it so, suddenly <laughs> I feel better about my little obsessions. <laughs> Cups are pretty, you know, it makes the drinking experience a little bit more of a fun one. So, sure, yeah. you know, but yes, uh, enough about me, Rico. I think for me, there was a phase where I wanted to buy a lot of Converse shoe. Oh, oh, Converse. Yeah, like different colors, oh, last, different styles. Sorry. Like different colors, different styles, just all yeah, of them. yeah. Especially when I was uh, I was still performing in uh, in bars when I still played music, mm -hmm. <laughs> live band oh. stuff. Converse was my go-to. Wow, when live music was a thing. Yes, I yeah, remember that. My... Well, we'll see. If anything, we'll find out on April twentieth what's gonna happen. Um, Until then. Wait. I'm guessing y'all don't get haircuts. Hence, so hence you the, see. you know. Yeah, hence the, well, in fairness, I don't need a haircut since uh, hair loss is a thing. Hey, I would just like to <laughs> so, point out that neither of us went there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, uh, no, you I, went went you. I went there. You went there. <laughs> but yes, you don't have that problem. But pretty soon we're going to see Nathan like a shag growing you yeah know, so oh my goodness if you want to see nathan with long hair leave us a comment no please you know, let's start a but actually, yeah, for nathan and his, yeah long hair i mean it's only gonna get longer so yeah we'll see maybe we'll change your name to shaggy chan no thank you shaggy chan that's not necessary thanks for the suggestion i'll consider it but mm. 
it just adds to the ever number of nicknames that you have. Anyways, we are we are going off tangent, coming back on track. Yes. yes. So things that we are, you know, can't have too much of and you know, these are some things. Now, here's my next question for you guys is uh what how do you define greed? How would you define greed? Um Mr. Burns. Oh yeah, he is. Excellent. 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 Yes. Man just always wants more and uh is is hilariously paying his employees like tiny tiny amounts keeping yeah. everything for himself i think for me when it comes to greed it's when a person is con is not contented of what he already abundantly has so like what uh, uh nathan is uh, setting an example of uh, thank you mr barnes mr yeah. burns can i think of anyone reading right now cookie monster <laughs> oh, but he's he's a cute greedy thing. He's still greedy. <laughs> That's an excellent imitation. Again, Rico, our soundboard, our sound effects board. Yeah. Um, never disappoints. Never disappoints. I mean thankfully I don't have um I don't have anyone that I know personally who is greedy. Um so but I think how would find, define greed, like what you said, like just can't get stopped, you know, heavy more or something, mm -hmm. but it's almost for like self, you know, because I think there are some people who strive to have more in, in life and that's totally okay. But then these people, they then use what they have to do good, you know, to mm -hmm. bless people yeah. and, you know, so on. Mm -hmm. And so they accumulate more and they bless people more, but then there are just some people who just accumulate, you know, and, and hoard and stuff like that. And they just don't really share. So yeah. That's, I wouldn't yeah. say. A few, uh, a few billionaires today come to mind. Mm. But, yeah. And we shall not drop names, no, shall we now? No. All right. So, yeah, that's how we would define greed. Now, something yeah. that he, uh, Pastor Peter was talking about was talking about entitlement. Now, you know, honestly, when I think about the word entitled, I always think like something that's negative, like, you know, oh, that entitled little brat you know just the way they act in, in terms of behavior mm -hmm. um and he's saying how like when we feel entitled to something then we can become greedy um mm. but something that was kind of interesting was actually there are things that we can be entitled to as children of god anyway so things that we should be entitled to as children of god these things include healing deliverance freedom joy provision from the lord and if we feel no peace and no joy um we are missing out on our entitlement i think that was something that was kind of like in a way life-changing well thought changing for me do you yeah. guys feel like you know right now there's like i don't know you're not really feeling much peace and joy or how are you guys feeling in the midst of this fifth wave i think same for me as well i mean like i've been telling you guys about my situation as well like i'm being open here as well when so so i've been quite anxious uh where i mean like of course everyone needs to be alert but not anxious so um yeah it, it has been something that i've been sort of struggling yeah and yeah so so what i've been doing now actually is for those who are actually having anxious uh, uh experience where we don't they don't really have peace mm -hmm. uh, i usually listen to a lot of worship songs and uh it oh, actually yeah. it, it helps a lot i mean like it can be quite like i don't know some people would think of it as a very religious thing but i find mm -hmm. it very sort of like you know just listening and then you you hear the lyrics and then you hear the promise of god and what mm -hmm. he's, he's doing during these circumstances mm -hmm. it's helpful i mean it, it it's very therapeutic in a way so yeah so yeah for me right now yeah there's anxiety in some areas but yeah, yeah i feel like through this season god has also given me that that mindset of like not everything is permanent and yeah that's yeah, all so yeah that's what i think yeah because like you know there is a yeah fine line of being smart but also being anxious right because you don't want to be all like you know yeah whatever does with me do whatever you want and then you know but also not like practice like you know social distancing and everything like this yeah, yeah. so um but you know i think i ref 
one thing I do realize is that I refuse to let this steal my joy and my peace. You know, mm -hmm. I think it does help that you know being alone um, and living alone helps because I don't necessarily have to really worry about like you know or passing something on to my parents. You know that kind of thing. Sure, yeah. Um, but they are living in Malaysia. They are seeing like a whole bunch of cases. You know, every day. Uh, even more so than Hong Kong, but I think what I can be thankful is that they are in like open space, so yeah, they're by the beach. Yeah. So I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah, but if anything, <laughs> like with all this time, I ref like I said, I refuse to let this steal my joy mm -hmm. and steal my peace. And if uh, anything, you know, I have time to you know, I guess rediscover ta uh, passions and gifts and stuff like that. Yeah. And I realized that you know I want to grow my something. I actually read something recently is like you know I want to grow my passions and my gift things. Not just for my own sake, but also I can use what I have to serve others as nice. well. So I think that gave me also a mindset, a change, shift as well, is that, you know, to grow my own gifts, you know, yeah. to serve other people as well. So, yeah, just want to let everyone know, you know, whatever you're going through, as a child of God, we are entitled to this peace and joy. And yeah. <laughs> All right, but yeah, definitely things that we should not feel entitled to keep our things of the world. So basically, goodbye yeah. cups, <laughs> goodbye comics. At some goodbye, point, yes, Aldo. goodbye comics. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> not not right now, but at some point, yes. <laughs> like in his grave, it's all in like his like you know comics. Like just it's you don't even see the body. It's just like you know comics. Yeah, everywhere. it'll just be lined with with uh, Batman books. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. That suddenly got real dark real quick. Yep. <laughs> but, okay, final question for you guys is this. How does one become rich towards God? Because we talked about um, greed, the, the rich fool and everything. And then, you know, mm -hmm. Pastor Peter is wrapping up about, you know, being rich towards God. So what does it look like to be rich towards God? Sounds like a weird question, but. Yeah, yeah. But I remember him saying, like, it's just to not, not worry which yeah. is at this point like completely counterintuitive because yes. yeah. everything is telling you to worry um mm -hmm. stuff is gonna run out blah 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 but to trust god with everything that you have that you will have enough your family will have enough like yeah mm -hmm. that's good yeah that's true i think one thing also is 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 like what pastor um Peter said also is to be generous. Um, do not like sometimes like for this kind of situation. Like for example, we had this situation where we ran out of tissues. Oh. Um, those those circumstances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have to oh, remember panic that. Buying. Yeah, exactly. And then I remember there was this building where we saw like the whole uh, window was full of tissue rolls. <laughs> oh wow! So, yeah. So I mean like. We, in these circumstances, we have to remember that we're not the only ones who are in need. And there are yeah. more people who actually do not have the capacity to actually be provided with. And yeah. we're just blessed that we are in the other spectrum where uh, for our own, uh, we can be able to 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 uh, provide ourselves also with, with these equipments because of, uh, of course, because the Lord has provided us. But at the same time, mm -hmm. we need to to remind ourselves that there are people right now in this current situation that uh, is in need. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes like when we're in shopping malls, and like especially supermarkets, we see people like just panic buying. I've never seen vegetables run out so fast ever. Mm. It's ridiculous, mm. right? And mm. people are just like, you know, crazy. I'm just like, wow, do you need that many eggs? Seriously? <laughs> but anyways. Okay, so as you know, um, Madam Ministry is our local outreach ministry. And so obviously we see a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. And, you know, even though we can't be there for, for people physically, we, we want to show support. We want to show love. And so do know that we are praying for you. And so also, yeah, if you have a heart just to really, you know, I, you, we know that this has been difficult. And there are some people, like we said, it's even more difficult for them. And so... Mm -hmm. um yeah i just want you to invite you to pray with us you know to love our community to have a compassionate heart for them some of the ways you can help is you know if you can to donate dried food food um kitchen or toilet necessities for managed to build a food bank for people um like canned foods or whatever it is 
and also um, cash, cash donating cash to a meta fund, uh, meta COVID fund also helps as well. Also, we know that people being stuck at home, you know, it's mm. not you know fun, especially if you're in stuck at home. You're basically surrounded by like what a whole family within like you know 100 square feet. It is not fun. I know it can be stressful. And so again, if you're professional in in parenting, emotional talks, or or you know, so that you know that people can do that, or even running children's Zoom like service uh, things, and and especially if you can speak in Cantonese, we would love to have your help as well because in this time. You know, families really need all the help that they can get. Get, mm -hmm. yeah. So volunteer with Mana, and yeah, you know, again, we can't do. It's not by our strength, but by the power of of Jesus. So we can believe that. You know, we can make declarative statements. We can declare God's goodness, and and you know, pray as well. So here are just some practical as well as like you know, spiritual yeah. ways that you can help our local community in this season. Yeah. So don't hesitate put, to reach out. If you can Sorry? put your faith to work then now yeah. is the time to do it like yes that. amen so we you know like we said isolation is you know it can be killer yeah. you know and so there's some people who are isolated not by choice yeah you know? so let's you know do what we can and just reach out again reach let us know you know get in touch with us well if you want to be involved we would love to have you yeah, yeah. anyways um with that being said, you know, it's been so great to connect with you guys over Zoom. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we will be able to do this in person again. But for the next couple of weeks, we are going to be doing this over Zoom. But, you know, stay tuned for more fun conversations. We are starting a new series next week. Um, it is I am. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the, I, the declarative I am statements that I Jesus made. Am. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's going to be it's going to be so, so yeah. good. Um, so yeah, we'll see you for the, yeah, for our first one the next week. All right. So take care. All have right, a great cool. week. Stay safe. And we'll yeah. see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.